Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn how to design tutor timeline with the fan out approach. As you all know this video is also a part of the system design series which I have created for you and you can find the playlist link in the description below. So now let's discuss about the agenda of this video. First we will learn about what is timeline and then we will design the tutor timeline with a very basic approach. And in that we will also see what are the problems associated with that very basic approach. And then in order to solve that particular problem, we will have to consider the tutor timeline using the fan out approach. With that approach also there will be a problem and that also we will discuss and finally we will consider a hybrid fan out approach while designing the tutor timeline and that will be a efficient solution for us. So, all of these things we are going to learn in this particular video. Let's begin. First we will learn about what is home timeline. But we should also know what is user timeline. As you can see on the screen this is my Twitter profile. And you can see that I am following this many users on the Twitter. So I am interested in the tweets from all of these users. So if I open twitter.com slash home or if I just open twitter.com by logging in it will redirect me to the twitter.com slash home. So here I can see all the recent tweets from all the users whom I am following. Right. So basically I am interested in the tweets of all those users whom I am following. So this is the timeline in which the Twitter will show me all the recent tweets from the users whom I am following. If I open my profile or any other user's profile, I can see the user timeline. So this is user timeline, what that user has done, how they have interacted with the other people and that is called the user timeline. And I have already showed you what is home timeline and now we know what is home timeline and also what is user timeline. And now it's time to design it. So first we will consider a very basic design approach. Here we have client, then API server and then we have the database. In our database we will have so many tables but for our learning purpose we will only consider two tables. One is the tweet, another is the follow following. So for example if any users creates a tweet. So in that case it will go to the API server and our API server will insert that tweet in the tweet table and then if any users open the home timeline what our api server will do our api server will first gather the all the followings of that user that will be a list of users and then for all those users it will find the recent tweets created by all those users and then it will aggregate all the tweets from all those followings and it will send it back to the client. So that will be the flow for any user home timeline. So what is the problem with this approach? The problem is that it will lead to high response time and that will lead to a loading on the screen where the user is requesting for the home timeline. So what is the solution for that? And for that we will have to consider fan out approach with redis in memory cache implementation. So for that we are going to create two caches in the redis. First one will be user id comma list of followers. So for example for the user id 1 we have the followers id as a 4, 9, 11 and something like that. And then for example for the user id 3 we have the followers id as 9, 11, 13 and so on. And then the second cache which is a very important cache that is called timeline cache. So in this what we are going to store user id as a key and the value as a list of tweets which we are going to show to that particular user and that will be the timeline. So how are we going to create this cache that is a question here. So if any users creates a tweet so in that case first we will use the first cache to find out all the followers and then we will go and insert in the second cache which is a timeline cache in all the followers we are going to insert the tweet because those followers should be 
seeing the tweets created by that particular user right and that is the use of the timeline so this is how we will be able to create the timeline cache now if any user request for the home timeline it will be very instant it will just go to the second cache and it will find out by the user id and it will just return the list of tweets from that cache so now the user will not see the loading for the long time because we have solved the problem of high response time by using the redis cache but there is a new problem that comes with this approach and that we will discuss now and this solution works perfectly in a system in which we do not have celebrity like user so what i mean by calling the user as a celebrity is that when a user is celebrity he or she will have a millions of followers and that is going to create a problem in our current approach so now let's see the flow in which a celebrity like users tweets considering the present approach in which we have designed with the fan out approach so here what will happen if let's say a celebrity is there with a millions of follower so what will happen first it will go and find out all the followers which is millions in number and then it will go and insert in the timeline cache so it will have to insert millions of times because followers numbers are in millions right and that is the problem that we are going to face here it will take too much time to insert in the millions of the users timeline cache and that will become a bottleneck on the opposite side of this when the user is not celebrity in that case it will have the followers in the magnitude of 100 500 1000 10000 but not in the millions so in that case it can easily insert in the timeline cache but that will be in the magnitude of millions when we consider the user as a celebrity so now we know the problem associated with this approach when the user is a celebrity and for that we will have to find a solution and next thing that we are going to discuss the solution related to that problem so now we know that we have a problem associated with the current approach and for that we will have to consider hybrid fan out approach so basically here we will have to improve upon our previous solution considering the hybrid fan out approach as i said we need a hybrid approach so we will have to divide the problem statement into two parts non celebrity users and celebrity users for this we will have to add three more cache in our redis implementation first will be user id comma tweets but this is not the timeline cache here we will store the user id of the celebrity and corresponding to that user id we will store the tweets created by that celebrity only and the second one is user id comma list of celebrities id whom that particular user is following so for example i am the user 1 so i will put here 1 and if i am following for example two celebrity whose ids are 14 and 19 so i will put here 14 and 19 similarly for all the users we will store here and the third one is user id comma is celebrity that will be a boolean and from this cache we should be able to find out which user is celebrity and which is not and now when a user tweets so in that case there can be a two case that user could be a celebrity or it could not be a celebrity so we can divide the problem statement into the celebrity and the non celebrity for the non celebrity we will have the same approach if the user tweets and we are able to find out that if that particular user is not a celebrity so in that case we will directly find out all the followers of that particular user and we will insert the tweets in the timeline cache for all the followers but what if that user is celebrity so in that case the flow will be different in that case we will only insert the tweets in the new cache which is the celebrity tweet cache now we know how we will update the cache how we will create the cache everything we know but the major difference will come when we try to fetch the home timeline so let's say i am following 12 users 10 non celebrity user and 2 celebrity user for the first 
we can get the tweets from the timeline cache then we will have to find all the celebrities whom i am following then we will have to find the id of the celebrities and for that we can use this table to find the list of celebrities whom i am following and here we will get the both the id and then we can go to the celebrity tweet because we have the user id comma tweets created by that celebrity so in that case we can get the tweets from the celebrities and then we will have to aggregate for the first 10 users and for the two celebrities right and in this way we can aggregate all the tweets and we can return it to the client and that way the client will be able to show the home timeline so now our system is able to handle all the cases non celebrity user as well as the celebrity user and this is how we were able to solve the problem of millions of insertions when the celebrity tweets and this is how we will design the system which is efficient and now we have learned how to design the twitter timeline with the hybrid find out approach and i hope you have learned a lot from this video so please like share and subscribe to my channel and also let me know on what topic you want me to create my next video and thanks for watching i will see you in the next video